All right, coming up, kickoff is just about 30 minutes away. It's time to set the scene at your game as we take you out first on the field, presented by Burger King. Have it your way with the latest news and updates on your match. It's a beautiful, breezy fall afternoon in New Jersey as we get set for kickoff between Washington and New York. And hi, everyone, from the broadcast booth with Matt Ryan and Tiki Barber. I'm Andrew Catalan. Well, for the Giants, Daniel Jones, the quarterback listed as questionable with a neck injury. He will not play today. So, Tiki, once again, it's Tyrod Taylor time. And this New York Giants team is very comfortable with Tyrod Taylor at quarterback. He's a veteran. He knows this offense well. He executed it well last week to some extent. Pushed the ball down the field a little bit more than we had seen in previous weeks. And he's got a lot on his shoulders. He's got Saquon Barkley back, so that helps. More importantly, though, for this Giants offense, the offensive line has been a rotating cast of different characters. Andrew Thomas has been out since week two, so we know that Justin Pugh is going to be starting at left tackle. Evan Neal is also out at right tackle. So Tyree Phillips, who just re-signed with the Giants, he's going to be at right tackle. They have a tall task ahead of them, especially against the Washington defensive front. And I think this defensive front, Tiki, you mentioned it, all the turnover on the, on the offensive line for the Giants. This unit gets after the best of offensive lines, but today they got to be licking their chops. They don't really send more than four rushers all that often, and they don't have to. They've got the guys to be able to do it. Sam Howe, on the other side of the ball, is a guy that's taken far too many hits this, this season. He was efficient last week against the Falcons, had a nice day, but heavily targeted Terry McLaurin and, and Logan Thomas. And to me, Tiki, He's got to find ways to get other receivers involved. Yeah, Terry McLaurin is fantastic. He's our leading receiver. But Curtis Samuel is a very qualified second option, as is Jahan Dotson. But they haven't quite put up the production that Terry McLaurin has. They need to spread the ball around to make this a little bit more cohesive. Don't forget about the tight ends on National Tight Ends Day. And you'll hear from Travis Kelsey when you come back to the NFL today.